Hey, happy holidays. It's Jennifer Sparks. I'm coming to you from the Windsor Hotel. It's now run by Best Western Plus. This place is awesome. It is in Americas, Georgia. My husband Kelly and I were passing through. We were coming from Florida, Orlando, where we usually are. <laughs> and we took the long way home. I was looking for somewhere really special to spend Christmas Eve, and this place fit the bill. It's a beautiful historic hotel. I saw pictures in the line with the Christmas trees and all, and I'm like, yep, this is the place. It's gonna be worth the drive, and it was. So hang out with me. I'm gonna show you our ride in coming in, where we parked. We're gonna take a tour of the hotel. I'm gonna show you where we dined for our Christmas Eve dinner. It was a little surprising. <laughs> it wasn't your typical Christmas Eve dining, but you know, when it's a holiday, you get what you get. You don't get upset. None of the restaurants on site were open on Christmas Eve, but you know, that's totally understandable. All right, here we are. It was not hard to find. This building sticks out like a sore thumb. It's very historic, very grand, very gorgeous. So we're gonna pull in. Parking was super easy. I was thinking it was gonna be a big city and where were we gonna park? Look at all this parking right in front of it. So, it is Christmas Eve, so the hotel itself was, may not be as busy as it normally is. But this place is a gem. It is beautiful. My husband and I were helping my daughter move from Florida, so our car was packed to the, to the rim. I mean, we seriously looked like we were living in our car. <laughs> or did a lot of Christmas shopping. Maybe people thought we were Santa Claus or something. <laughs> This place is just amazing. I'm gonna show you, uh, we're gonna go take a little walk around right now. Have you been to Americas, Georgia before? Let me know in the comments below about your time here. I really thought the town was adorable, but unfortunately we were just passing through. So we pretty much had dinner, slept, took showers, and we are off on our way. I'm currently now in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. My purpose of this trip was to help my daughter move. She was, her and my other daughter were working for Disney World and then, you know, the whole COVID thing happened. And then my little daughter, youngest Swan, she got a job at Universal Studios. But, you know, she's think, thinking, you know, I'm gonna try coming home back to Connecticut and regrouping, you know, it's been tough on all those kids working over there. All right, I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic here. Look at this place. <laughs> this usually, I, uh, I don't think it's this patio. I think it's the one below is a bar, but, the bar was closed because it's Christmas Eve. But what a beautiful place. We went and got a bottle of wine and we sat outside. This little round little thing here, I think it's the tower, I believe it's called. Those are hotel suites. They were about double the price that of the room that I paid. So I didn't get one of those because we weren't gonna be there too long, but they look beautiful. The night I was there, they had regular, just single rooms with like a queen bed for $79. I believe we paid 99 for ours, but I upped for like the bigger room that had the higher ceiling and that had like a little suite area. I'm gonna make a separate video of the actual hotel room itself. This is gonna be more about the town. Look how cute this town is. They had all these trees that were decorated. The whole town had piped in music too. This is where we ended up eating. This is so funny. But the only restaurant in town was a Mexican restaurant and we had such a good time. I never had margaritas for Christmas Eve before and I highly recommend it. It was really, really a lot of fun. And as you can see by Kelly's face, they were very strong. <laughs> One of those and we were like, hell, good thing we walked here. <laughs> We weren't expecting them to be so big or so strong. The menu was really big. There was like a lot of different options to choose from. They gave you complimentary chips and salsa to start with. And I got the uh, enchiladas. One was bean, one was cheese, one was meat, and one was chicken. You know, I didn't know what to get, so I figured I'll try a little bit of everything. And my husband had, it was like um, a taco, and it came with beans and rice. Like I said, totally not your typical <laughs> Christmas Eve dinner, but hey, it did the job. It was worked. And as you can see, this place was really, really nice. They had Santa there <laughs> and Christmas trees and the staff was really friendly and they were, they were very attentive. The place is called 1800 if you're ever in town. So go check it out. 
And thank you very much, Kelly, for a nice time and for holding the door open for me. I love that about him, that he holds the door open for me. <laughs> if you're a guy, make sure you do that. Or anyone, always make sure you open the doors for others. It's just a nice, kind thing to do. I found Americus to be very kind. Um, everybody that I encountered was just super sweet, very relaxed. You know, Georgia in general, like the towns that I went to on the way there, we had gone to another town too, and everybody just... Like, you could be in traffic and nobody, like in Connecticut, if you're in traffic, everybody's blaring their horn, yelling, huffing and puffing. <laughs> Over here, everybody's just kind of just chill. Like I said, there's holiday music going th down through the streets. It's just an amazing place to be. It just, it felt very like Hallmark movie. <laughs> I kind of like that. If you're finding this video helpful and if you're enjoying it, if you could do me a favor and hit the like button, and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel. I do a lot of traveling. I'm on the road a lot. And I mostly do resort tours. I had try to help others find a right vacation or resort that's right for them and for you. <laughs> Everybody likes something different, you know? I mean, I thought Americus was really cool. Maybe other people would find it boring. One thing I did learn, however, is how much I absolutely love the freedom of driving. I typically fly, you can see I have a million videos about my flights going in and out of Orlando, Florida mostly, but driving, there's just something really special and freeing about it. All right, we're going to go take a little tour of this beautiful resort right now. Over here, you'll find the resort's sit-down restaurant, Roseberry and Time, and they also have a bar called Floyd's. I believe Roseberry in Time serves breakfast and dinner, and it's more like a sit-down, more fancier kind of thing. This chair, I love. I love, love, love that chair. <laughs> I want to take that one home. Here's a little peek at our suite that we rented for the night. We had two queen-size bed. It had an armchair, a couch. It was really nice. It had a TV, little mini fridge. It had um, like a microwave. The towels were so plush. The bed was so comfortable. I did not want to get out of bed. It was absolutely amazing. This place, uh, I'd give it a five star. It has really, really good ratings. That was one of the choice, the reasons I chose this place. Like I said, it was a little out of the way. The ride was beautiful. I'm trying very hard not to go up and down 95 and stay off really congested areas. I really want to see America. I really want to do that. So I don't want to see <laughs> highways in the backs of other people's cars. I really just want to see the open roads and really beautiful towns like this. So you doing a little research, finding great places, finding the right towns that you really want to see. It's worth it and it's worth the extra drive. Here's a little peek of what it looked like at night, the little town right in front of the hotel. going back into the hotel now to grab some wine to enjoy on one of the beautiful patios. He's probably going to kill me, but this is his Christmas jig. <laughs> He's so funny. It's taken us about 30 years, but we're starting to travel well together. <laughs> to Maggie Valley, North Carolina. It's gonna be about a six hour drive. I just may come back to Connecticut with a Southern accent. I'm actually in Maggie Valley right now as I'm editing this video. It's a really cool town. And I'm gonna be having videos of that too in my timeshare stay. I was able to grab a last minute exchange through Interval International at a place called Pepper Tree. Really cool place, it's in the Smoky Mountains. you've made it this far thank you so much for watching i hope you had a fabulous holiday season and let's have a fantastic 2022 
is your host, Jennifer Sparks. Be well to one another. Get out there and have some fun and enjoy yourself. Stay safe and safe travels to you.